dude, comma, the fucking artist needs time to do this, comma, he said it will be ready shortly, comma, you know how many, how good fucking artists are, alright, whatever, it's on its way. It's for my friend Chris at uh, Puff Puka Lounge. Anyways, today we got some things for you. Um, okay, check this out. We just got these in. This is an oldie but goodie. Knuckle up tobacco, two apples in the can. Okay, so I took it out of the can and I smoked one bowl and I packed it loosely in a, in a harmony bowl. This has nothing to do with what the video is about. So now I'm going to pack it like Tangier style. What do you think about that? Overpack or you know, you know what I'm talking about. Look at all that. This is the most attractive tobacco ever. Maybe because it's the first one we smoked many years ago. Still to this day, out of all the brands that came out since, all the new innovative uh, innovations in hookah, which are some are good, some are not. Nukla Two Apples still still has to be number one in the hookah world. Problem is, it just doesn't have enough. I'm not satisfied with it as much as I used to be because the newer products and brands just have more smoke, maybe more flavor. So, oh, that's fucking Chris's response. See what you said. Why are you yelling? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he'll get it later. Okay. So, anyways, back to business. Don't tell me we don't have foil. Okay. So I'm gonna pack it like Tangiers. You know what that means. If you're not familiar with Tangiers, look up some of the other videos we have. Here's Tangiers if you want. Let's see. That's Tangiers for you. Great brand, great shisha. Again, before any of the other brands get mad, great, you know I smoke haze, smoke my Starbuzz. It's all in our personal stash, Elf Factor. All right, so forget it. This is not about, this isn't even about Nafla. This video is gonna be about something else. Wait for my coals to be ready. You know what? I'll show you guys how I poke coals. I, I never pack Nafla like this, but I'm going to today just because I wanted to see if I can get any thicker clouds or more flavor. Nuckla has a weird consistency. Here's a comp comparison. This is Alfacker. It's more glistening. Stop fucking texting me. Okay. Uh, you know, that's that's Alfacker. And this is Nuckla. Okay. Two very different brands. Both are very different, not similar at all. Another one. Starbuzz is very different too. You guys have seen it. You're familiar with Starbuzz. I don't want to take it out and get my hands dirty. I'm just procrastinating right now. You guys asked for more videos. I, I, I said I don't want to do more videos. You guys asked for them. So just look at the notes. You guys are familiar with Starbuzz. The only one that's been coming out new that's a different cut is the Hayes. So that's what I like about Hayes. They're different than the other brands. They're not trying to be another Elfacker or another Starbuzz. Oh, imagine if somebody wanted to be the next Nakla. Are there any brands like that's the next Nakla? Or like a copy of Nakla? Try our Miso Lemon Mint. Or try our... What the fuck does Nakla do? Try our Shehrazade Earl Grey. They don't do that. So anyways, I'm going thick holes. We'll see if this works out. I don't really give a crap. Actually, I do. I've been trying to make this video for the past, what, three hours? It's simple. It's hookah. It's not Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna put this on here. I'm already smoking a few rounds today, so that's why we got the ash. I'm put my flavor saver on. Yeah, I'll use this. Why not? Are you looking at my ass? Don't look at my ass, people. I, I know some of you were. I know there's people out there. I, I've seen. I've read the comments. I get those creepy messages once in a while. People want to see. You know, it's like, Tuka John, take your shirt off. Show us a little bit. Looks like you work out. It's, someone said, it looks like you work out, you were in shape. Yeah, sure. A million years ago. I'm going to get these on first. And then we'll do, we'll go to the point of this video. I just want to prepare a hookah so I can discuss it with you or discuss the, the product later. Excuse me. We're a mess here. We've got orders coming in, orders going out. We'll just let that heat up. Don't sit down. We're going somewhere, bro. We're not, we're not, don't get comfy in here. I'm going to let that heat up because the coals still need a little bit. So, I'm going to wash my hands. Get a little bit of the knack off my hands. 
Nobody's ready to come in. All right, let's see what we got here. So this came in today. Um, we got, you guys familiar with the Hookah John Boho? We got a whole new batch in. Those are in. Those are good. So we're going to be up on the site probably by the time you're seeing this. Again, you know the HJ uh, Jumbo Bohemian. This is called the Checkmate series, as well as this. Look at that genie. We don't have a trumpet out. But what, what we did was try to add a couple models here that uh, are going to be in the future. We're just checking out samples, a little R&D. What do you think of that model? Okay, clear with the gold. Tell me if it's focusing in. Do you need more time? No. Should I put it against a white shirt? That should be good. Yeah? Okay, so this is a new bell design. Um, the bell is the same shape. We're just trying to do a little bit more of the uh, gold um, labeling on it. I don't know what you call it. Check this out. This is one of my favorites because most bases that you see have lines going horizontally. This, the design goes vertically. Actually, this one I'm going to take for myself. I want to thank the people in Europe and the Czech Republic. It's called Astra Gold. They are the manufacturer of these. Let's get a little sticker here. You probably can't see it. But the new ones will have that little hologram with the Astro Gold sticker. And they make awesome tableware. Plates, china, uh, whiskey glasses. I'm thinking about getting wine glasses. But it has all of this stuff on it. I don't know if the American market wants it. We're going to look into it. All right, so that will be in the future. But that's not hookah related. Here's a trumpet with the same design. That just looks amazing. I have not put these on a hookah yet. I'm going to grab one. While you take some pictures of these, let me uh, grab a brass stem and see what it would look like. Okay. This is just going to be amazing with it. Okay. For example, look at, yeah, look at the design on that. What do we call that? Like almost like carbon um, fiber, but... Fishnet. Fishnet. Okay. Let's put this stem... Here. There's fishnet on the genie. Check that out with a with a Sheikah stem on it. Do you know the name of the Sheikah model? We're still trying to go through these and I haven't memorized them. But that's a solid brass Sheikah stem. Look how awesome. Let's see if this works here. Look at that. That trumpet with that stem. That is gonna be bad. Bad. Okay. This is again one of my favorites right here. Look at that. It's freaking amazing. When I like the clarity of the bases so that you can see your water and smoke transitioning. So yeah, check these out. We're gonna have let's not forget to put that in the right spot. Again, what do we have here? Jumbo with the fishnet and gold on it. That is just amazing. And this is craftsmanship. This is not just another base made in China. This is uh, made in the Czech Republic by artisans who really know their craft. Just not uh, pumped out like cheaper stuff. Do you need one of these? No. But ask a guy who drives a Ferrari if he really needs his Ferrari. Pretty sure he doesn't. He can still drive to work in his Volkswagen or whatever. But is it nice to have one of these? Yes it is. It's very nice. I can't say that I'm using one on every one of my hookahs. I should. Being that I'm hookah John, why not? So that's it. That's it. Check them out. I hope you guys like them. They'll be here in the future. I only have what you see on the table. But the regular line, the Hookah John Bohos, and the Checkmate Bohemian line is going to be back up online in just a minute. We just got, uh, in case you guys are wondering what it looks like when they come in, they come in the stacks like this throughout the, uh, they come through the ocean. That one over there on the yellow pallet jack, these two pallets, these come in all the way from the Czech Republic. That's why it takes a long time to get them. They come by sea or else they're going to cost even more because, uh, weight, customs, all the importation crap that we put up with just to bring all these awesome products to you guys. So I know you guys appreciate it. Most of the level-headed ones out there do. All right, a little enough of the double apple. I posted this Harmony on a uh, Instagram photo. This is not done, so I, already people are asking for it and they want one, and it's not even close to done. I, I won't accept this. This is not to my standards. Um, it's, got a great, it's got great potential. But can you see that pretty good? My desk has two lunches on it. A lunch from yesterday and a lunch from today. Two coffees, one from yesterday and one from today. I don't even get around to eating. I'd like to say thank you to my boy for getting me one of these for my birthday. It's tomorrow. Thank you, Anthony. And he even went with the uh, Jack Dan single barrel. I don't know. I'm going to try it out. I don't say no.
So we have four titanium cubes on Nakhla, two apples, or double, two apples. Nakhla. We got a flavor saver. We got a harmony bowl. It's, I think this was a root beer, but it came out pretty greenish, so I just kept it for myself. They do vary in color. Starbuzz, hookah, narbiche hose. I got a stupid haircut. I'm wearing glasses. It's just a different day. Hookah John. Same point, smoking hookah. If you need more content, you go to royalhookahforum.com. I have not been able to find good hookah content lately. I'm not contributing as much as I did, but Tangiers did give me a flavor list and explanation of their seasonal flavors. You can see that on my Facebook page. It's probably in a link somewhere. You'll find it. Uh, that's it. Another announcement. Check out... Uh, if you guys follow Bar Rescue, you guys see me on the previous uh, on a previous episode of Bar Rescue. They're starting a new series called Back to the Bar. They already aired one where John Taffer goes back to bars to check out the status of bars. Had they listened to have they listened to his advice or have they gone back to their old ways? Are they a success or a failure? Well, we did go back out to the Oasis Hookah Bar, or they call it Taza Hookah Lounge out or Taza Lounge out in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm not going to give you any details. Um, mainly because I don't know how it turned out, but I was out there, it was awesome, and looking forward to showing you guys that. Yeah, enough of the two apples, man. It just brings back memories. Can't smoke it every day. Who do you think, Anthony? Worth once in a while? An occasional? Yeah? Alright, I really gotta get back to work. Sorry for the rambling on guys, thanks for watching the videos, and I'll see you guys soon.